Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today we're gonna talk about pure functions. You ever feel like your software is like this and you just want this one cool thing amongst all the other cool things, but when you try to pull it, it gets stuck and brings all the other stuff with it. That's what we call spaghetti code. And pure functions help mitigate that problem. It allows you to pull it apart, test it in isolation, make it dependable. You can put it with other dependable functions and then you have dependable software, right? Pretty cool concept. But we're gonna teach you that. And once you start learning these things, you'll recognize that there's a wide idealistic gap between what is pure and what is not. It's kind of an ivory tower that you're never gonna make 100% pure unless you're coding like a mathematical language, like Mathematica or Haskell. We're not into that. We wanna create cool front end interfaces, get things done in a reasonable time frame, right? We wanna ship it, get it done. We're gonna get you as close as possible and show you how it's easier to test how it's easier to maintain, easier to share code, move it around. So even though your unit test will might change a little bit, the refactoring is a lot easier to do when you deal with pure functions. But we're gonna hit the first one tonight, and that is, if it doesn't return a value, it's a no-op. So this is your first spidey sense rule out of the three that it's not a pure function. And if it does return a value, you're on your way to make it a pure function. Let's talk about some nomenclature first before we go too far. What we have here is a log function. What this does is print out yo to the screen. This is a function. It's also a variable. That's what's cool about JavaScript is that functions can be variables. You can throw them around and store them places, and when you're ready, you call them with these parentheses. Anything inside of here, the limited by commas, is something called an input in mathematical terms, or in our case, it's an argument or a parameter to the function. At the end of the day, these functions take inputs and reproduce an output. So I'm gonna rely heavily on Eric Elliott's description, which I actually like a lot. He describes pure functions very, very well. I'm gonna to link to his article in the description. For, but all you're concerned about is that a function takes an input and produces an output. You'll notice here, when we log what that output is, it's nothing. Rule number one. Sorry, I need to pound too much Python. If no return value, not pure, a no-op. No-op is another word for no operation. It just means that it's not pure, it's a no-op. It means you give an, a function an input and it really does nothing. Pure functions are not supposed to affect things outside of themselves. Therefore, if it produces nothing, it's a no-op. It doesn't do anything of use in pure functions in the world. Now, I've written many functions that return nothing and do a lot. <laughs> so this is a huge, huge thing. And I, I don't understand why a lot of the functional programming people just gloss over this concept. This is a very, very important thing. Imagine all the functions you've written, look at them, and if they don't return a value, go, oh. <laughs> right, so that's your rule number one. If it doesn't return a value, it's not a your function. It has to return something. So remember kids, if you're writing code, or you've already written code, and you look at the function and you don't know what it returns, or you could guess and the return value isn't really useful, think about that. That took me eight months, <laughs> blew my mind. Approach that one first, look at all your functions and go, what do they return? If I give it this input, what does it return? That's what you really need to think. Some functions you're gonna say, well, wait a minute, I can't give it that because these things need to be set up first before I can give it this thing, but then I can call it. If I give it this thing and those weren't called, I get something different, Oh. That's the stuff we want to get rid of. So think about that one. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do part two.